Hi there, uh, it's been six months since my last get ready with me. Let's do this again. A summer edition, I guess. There are more photos on the walls. We finally got rid of the flannel covers from winter. Ooh, yikes. I'm gonna put in some earrings. It's earrings from Ana Luisa. And I got these ones. They're super cute. I don't know if a lot of like um, non-binary or trans mask people can relate to this but for the longest time I felt like wearing both earrings or like dangling earrings was making me too feminine which is something I was afraid of when I just started exploring gender identities and stuff without even knowing what that was I stumbled upon some kind of information on the internet that uh, at some point gay people would wear one earring I think in their left ear to um, show secretively that they were gay so it was kind of like a symbol of gayness I decided to do that and for the longest time I would just wear one earring in my left or right ear I didn't remember which one that was supposed to be I got so used to this that I started thinking that wearing both earrings is only for women very problematic and silly of me but that was where I was I guess and there of course is inner misogyny uh, intertwined and all of that uh, but I wore gauges I think they're called for a couple years because that felt like more uh, rebellious or more masculine and only I think this year like 2019 2020 I went back to wearing both earrings because actually I think it's super cute like especially with dangling earrings like these ones look how cute this is and I think you can achieve like a more rebellious look if you want it by, you know, adding more because I have more like holes in my ears here I also got this, it's also from Annalisa, this cuff and you can like move it around to see where it fits I think for me it fits right here this quarantine hairstyle is everything uh, I haven't had a haircut since March I think if you add something like, like a cuff, like a bold cuff it will look less feminine if that is what you're looking for but it can also look very feminine it just depends I was so stuck in this mindset of you know, I have to look very androgynous or I like nothing feminine is allowed in this house and that just put so many limitations on my style um, for a while I didn't go to the feminine section of every store so I really like them and I think one of the best parts of those earrings it's recycled materials which is something I really like because I don't like the idea of bringing in more of stuff that we already have enough of and I can take this piece out of the hoop so if I'm feeling just hoops which often happens and this to me is like really beautiful and really elevated uh, but I don't always want this I only want it from s for some of my looks so I can just take it off and wear a hoop I have got the Libra hoops which are really cute you can get a hoop for your zodiac sign they're really cute, do you like them? mm-hmm I'm a Libra <laughs> same thing about nails to be honest the first time I allowed myself to participate in the more feminine in the eyes of society act of like painting my nails or going to a salon for someone else to paint them was when we were getting married I was 25 by then and all those years I thought it was it's going to invalidate my identity because I felt like for me to be seen as non-binary I have to get rid of all femininity in me so that I'd be seen, you know, n not as a cis woman but now I'm much more comfortable in my identity and if someone doesn't see me as non-binary, it's their problem you know, uh, I know who I am and I know that nail polish is fun and I know that I can wear, you know, any kind of jewelry I, I like it feels nice, it feels very uh, freeing, liberating my face is less dry because it's not winter anymore but I still use this uh, toner we're almost out of this one and when we're out I'm gonna use the um, I'm from Fig Boosting Essence instead of a toner Claire's and I have a special relationship I think I like filming Get Ready With Me because I don't need to get ready before <laughs> because I have hyperpigmentation I'm using two things to work around that uh, when I, at night I use the Meltdown Oil from Bloom I like it, it's 
like essential oils and it smells very herbal which i like and it's meant to reduce breakouts uh, the appearance of pores acne and to fade your post acne marks do one scoop for me one scoop is enough for my whole face and you just rub it in you know sometimes you get this one spot that's like really like you know it's gonna happen and you're like oh, if only i could do something about you i think it really helps from those obviously i still get acne because that's just my skin type and as i said in my previous video i'm trying to be more okay with it uh, being on quarantine actually made me feel less self-conscious about my skin because whenever we go out which happens like really rarely we wear masks on half of the face and usually a hat because of quarantine hair you know no one's gonna see me so i don't care another thing i like about this oil is that it doesn't feel oily it like absorbs into your skin pretty quickly i as i said i usually use it at night but i have a couple spots that are like coming out i know it's june but i'd rather they stay in and so i can smell like a fairy that just emerged from the forest i quite like it i actually wanted to buy it uh, a long time ago back when i was in russia someone told me about it on tumblr and they said that they use benzoyl peroxide and this on top for moisture and healing and i was like that sounds great i've been using it for a month and although it's not a miracle solution like for me i don't think there is one treatment that's not like too expensive or going to a dermatologist that will just clean and clear my skin fully um, i will still keep getting acne and i think for me it's just a matter of controlling them and healing them because i am a person who is very prone to scratching my face and would just sit like this and then suddenly i have blood on my hands you know it feels very very healing and very soothing and i like it i did not think this through and I put oil before I put my serum which is not very smart of me it do be like that sometimes so I don't know if there is any point in putting it right now but that's what I usually put in the morning the special magical combo for me right now for making my skin look like glowing and nice is to use vitamin C with this cream I've showed it in the last get ready with me and this is how much I left like almost none <laughs> but it's just so good and i feel like we're gonna buy another bottle of this another jar because i think for me this is the best moisturizing cream i've ever tried if you want like extra glow you can also put on top of this the ordinary squaline oil oh it just gives you such extra glow it's just beautiful also my hands are extremely dry from the hand sanitizers and washing my hands all the time so i just have this huge bottle of all over lotion from claire's um and i just put a bunch i scratched myself when i was frantically trying to find my passport in my backpack that's a manifestation of my anxiety of losing my documents in terms of skincare we only have uh, sunscreen left for me today and i have two right now this one is the laneige watery sun cream they have the same spf 50 plus um and this is the dear claire's midday blue uv shield i'm using this right now because i really like how it uh counteracts my redness redness in my face as you know the redness under your nails is still not a trend it doesn't leave a white cast but it's naturally a little bit blue ish and it just calms down the redness on your face which is something i really like i will say this might be not the greatest option for people with a very dry skin because at least it is a little drying so for me that's perfect because when it's summer i get really oily and i get really sweaty so for me a little bit of a you know matte finish of a sunscreen is actually better but i would not recommend it if you have a very dry skin type can you see i don't know if, i don't i literally don't know if it shows on camera but usually when i look in the mirror my skin is a lot less red once i use it so sunscreen done skincare done um as i said during quarantine 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 quarantine, quarantine 
During quarantine, I started being a little less concerned about my makeup routine, so I'm literally just using the Claire's cushion instead of using the concealer because, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna wear a mask anyway. Also, who is she? Like, who, who is she? Like, what is she doing here? Like, what's her story? Dip it in over here, kind of like wood into a concealer. Um, and then I put it on spots instead of my whole face. And if I need to dip it again, I will. And then I take the cushion and I just dab it in. Yes, it is not the greatest coverage in the world, uh, in a sense that it's pretty transparent transparent not transparent obviously there's some coverage but it's mostly to balance out the skin tone rather than cover the blemishes and make like a super smooth canvas like some people do oh there's a there's a little eyelash right here in summer i like as little makeup as possible because you know wearing a sunscreen is already a layer um, all that moisturizer you had to put in is another layer um, and I'd, I'd rather just not put many, many more things on top. As per usual, I go in with the boy brow. I really need a new one. But <laughs> at this point, it's more of a hairbrush. I ran out of my hairspray that I was using. The It's a 10 Miracle Hair Serum or whatever that was. Um, I need something new. If you have any recommendations for like this type of hair, please let me know. It's like soft and it doesn't really hold any texture and it's dr pretty dry. The lighting keeps changing and there's nothing I can do about it. So we're just going to continue. I also want to smell nice in summer. So I'm going to use this little roller that I've had for I think four years. <laughs> It's the Jasmine Roll-On Perfume Oil. I got it back in Moscow. So I just put it in places. I like to smell like tea. That is that is what I that is my goal. To smell like a cup of good tea. I also recently got this deodorant from By Humankind and it's eucalyptus smell. Oh, this packaging. The only thing I have against it is that it's it takes five years to roll it out and in. And the thing is, by with by humankind is that I have their mouthwash and their deodorant, and you buy the container one time, and then you just buy refills. Now I can go to the post office. Now I can go to Trader Joe's. Actually, wait. Um, this is the finished look. There we go. Erin's mom made us these masks. Um, Erin has a Star Wars one and I have just a plain blue because I like simple colors. But yeah, that would be the finished look. If I leave you with a thought at the end of this video, I would like it to be, be yourself. Recognize the stereotypes that the society and the culture puts on you. Explore the styles and explore jewelry and explore makeup and explore clothes. Your presentation is yours uniquely. So me going from only wearing one earring in the left ear and being afraid of nail polish. I feel like there's definitely still a real long way ahead and I'm still not 100% um, comfortable with myself and my you know, body and other things uh, and the way society uh, sees me. But I'm on my way and every journey is different and I'm proud of you for being you. Stay home and stay safe. Everything's gonna be okay.